I wonder if I could link our YouTube. Mm. Live video, draw it, bring a friend, invite a friend to be in your broadcast. Oh, we should have did that. Uh, what's that? What's this? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know what I did. Okay, there you go. Hey, guys. Hello, hello. Carlos wanted to go live. <laughs> Are y'all following our YouTube channel? We just posted, um, me, Adrian Aubrey just posted a, um, new video on there. And we're doing a giveaway for a free book. Well, let me get the book so y'all can see. Free book? Yeah. Which one? Let me see. This one. Oh. Hi, Irma. How Hi. are you? All right, we're do, get, um, this book is going to be the giveaway for, I guess, once we reach 100 subscribers on our YouTube, we're going to do a drawing for this free book. So, The Five lo Love Languages of Children. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. So, yeah, go subscribe. Can you read that? Barely. It's so small. Thank you, Isabel. Love you. Carlos still wants to meet up with you and your husband. Who's that? Isabel. Break every chain. Break okay. every chain. Break every chain. Um, yeah. So we're just going live randomly. So y'all can ask us questions. Like a Q&A thing. Have you read it, Isabel? Love you too, Rosie. What's up, Rosie? Have you read it? I think I have the whole series, and Carlos just got the man, the man book one. So yeah, y'all ask us questions, and we answer the best way we can. So, parenting. Marriage, knowing Jesus. And we don't know it all, but... No, we don't. We definitely try. Yeah. To live it with God. Amen to that. But yeah, y'all ask us and we answer. I was supposed to do like um, a questionnaire thing, but I forgot. What does Peyton have... Or, sorry. Yeah, Peyton. What does she have uh, surgery for? Um, the book is The Five Love Languages of Children. We're doing a giveaway on this book once we reach 100 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Sorry, babe, was covering your face. Yes, they do. We have... Yeah, let me get, let me get them for you. Get what? Uh, the series in it. Well, actually, I can't show them because I'm not giving it away. But yeah, we have all of them. We have the teenager one. Um, Carlos has the man one. Um, um, the love languages so um, for women, I think. But yeah. What's that? Is that like... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I oh. No <laughs> what is that, BB? Hi, Glenna. Dang. I need to Google that. Yeah, oh, yeah, YouTube. So, what are you guys doing tonight? Brittany, have you done your, um, um, your day for the Seamless Bible study tonight? Isabel, are you going to join us for the Seamless? Glenna, I love watching your makeup, um, thing growing. Hi, Elizabeth. Okay, so 
You have to ask us questions, guys, because we don't know what to talk about. See, I was right. Uh, okay, we'll pray for pay, for sure. We got a paper and a pen? Yeah. I'm going to start writing down uh, prayers as well. Um, if anybody needs prayers for anything, just let us know. And uh, we'll definitely write it down and we'll work hard on it. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Ouch, in the nose area. Oh, okay, about the binder. All right, I'll explain the binder. I'm gonna go to write our prayers. We're running the pages. <laughs> uh, prayers. Okay. Surgery. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, binder. Okay. So, um, what Isabel ta is talking about about the binder is, um, um, so we have this binder, and we only have this binder because. Allie used to have a binder that was like her depressed binder, negative binder, and I found it. Um, she brought it here from her dad's house, and I was like, oh, heck no, this is going to the trash. We don't do that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Buy enemy, get out of my house. So I was like, no. Turn it for good. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So we threw that in the trash. I was about to buy another binder. No. Well, no, this is a different binder. Oh. So we threw that binder in the trash. And, um, when we moved to Melissa and then we ended up leaving to Melissa coming to Farmersville, I had all these red binders for Melissa that I had nothing to do with. And I'm like, okay, well I threw it away. I'm going to use these red binders. So I got binders, one for the girls room and one for the boys room. And I wrote, use this notebook to write notes, goals, Bible verses, and prayers. Only one rule, no negative, only positive. Always remember, God loves you. So, each one of our kids has this binder in their room. So, when you open it... Goals are very important in life. Yes. Goals and putting God as a priority and goals. That If anything's going to get you anywhere, it's definitely going to be putting God first and having goals. That is something I've learned recently and I'm definitely putting it to work for sure. Yeah, we... When did we make our goals? Like last month? Um, last month yeah it's funny because I made a goal of uh, what was it it's still I put it up on a wall I put my goals up on a wall and um, um, the, one of my first goals was to be positive daily just be do something positive um, for somebody or for yourself or just be positive in general and uh, the next goal my second goal was to be spiritually connected and I, I was really interested in that um, I wouldn't say I was committed, but I was definitely interested. Um, I'm committed now, uh, for sure, uh, spiritually. But once I got more interest in it, you know, it started building. And uh, I, I got connected. I was just, I was hooked since then. Um, my third goal was uh, to lead my family spiritually. You know, first, you know, it starts with yourself first. You can't just jump in and start leading your family. Like, you know, before I wasn't, you know, it was... Um, it was a little crazy, but um, I learned that you got to start with yourself. You got to start with yourself. And then once you find yourself, once you find your connection with God and have that personal relationship, you know He'll give you He'll give you that leadership, those leadership qualities to lead your family. Um, and you know, I, I learned a lot. And you know, just this those goals right there, they've already we've accomplished so much in so little time. Uh, you know, God's powerful, very powerful. Uh, when when he knows what you want, what you want to accomplish, he'll give it to you. You just got to trust and have faith. Um, uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, what was your goals? Um, you just over there. To not punch my husband in the face when he gets on my nerves. Well, no, you, just kidding. You failed. <laughs> uh, my goals are easy ones. Mine were pretty hard. If y'all know me before this, mine are, I thought were pretty hard, but... They really weren't. My goals were to be on fire with God and not lukewarm, 
to not yell at my kids and rise at the sight of anger immediately. Um, and uh, to wait on God's timing and not rush. Right. So, so what are some of y'all's goals? Do y'all have goals? And, 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 and what are you doing to accomplish them? Yeah. That's, you can't have goals and not do nothing. Yeah. Um, you have to find a way to accomplish your goals, uh, what, however that may be. Um, so I, I'm interested to see who has goals and, and what they're doing. Cause you know, we can all learn from each other, you know, I don't know everything and you know, I want to, I want to know more. I'm definitely interested. So if you have a goal, put it up. Yeah. If you don't have goals, that's bad. That's bad. But today, tonight is the night to start that's right. your first goal. Yeah. So get a piece of paper and write your first goal and date it too. What I do is date everything. What song is this? I think my next goal is going to be um, leading, leading in some shape or fashion, leading something. I don't know what God. I think God's called me to lead. Um, um, I don't know in what yet. He hasn't. He hasn't really told me yet. Um, but that that's my next goal to lead. What's your next goal? Um. I said it earlier, I forgot. Your, your newest goal? Like, you haven't, like, the one that you haven't achieved yet? Um, I don't know. To be all that I can be at the church that I am now. Yeah. I agree. That's I'm a good goal. I'm serving now. I serve every week. And That's I a good love goal. love it. I don't think I've ever heard that from you. To be all you can be in, in, in the church. Yeah. Well, hopefully, leading means to me, you know, being the best in the church that I can be as well. Leading is kind of a broad overview of what I want. Um, the lead in some way or fashion. That being the best as in how God wants us to yeah. be the best. Yep. Glenda, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, mine happen to be spiritual goals first. I'm still learning. Um, I'm definitely going to gain more goals. And with leadership, I think that's uh, uh, professional and personal. And since that's one of my newest goals... Um, definitely learning for sure. Okay, so back to the binder. Um, so we have oh, the yeah, binder, the the positive binder. Okay, so each kid has one in their room. And um, when you open it, I have, you are beautiful, respectful, loved, honest, amazing, God's child, trustworthy, smart, kind. Just, you know, things that will motivate our kids. And then I have dividers in it. And... Oh, so each divider has a different section and each section I have a piece of paper explains what you're going to do in there. So the first divider is notes and this is <clears throat> can where... Can I stop you one second, babe? Yeah. Yeah, guys, if y'all think any of this information can help somebody that you know, share this video so they can see exactly what we're doing here and if you think it can help somebody, share it, please. Yeah, especially in mommy groups or something. Yeah. Um, or um, spiritual groups, that'd be awesome. Um, so the notes is where I put, this is where you can write whatever you want, but it has to be positive. You can write your plans for the day, what chores or homework you have to do, yada, yada. So you can use it, they can use it for however they want. So, so they're like, oh, okay, um, notes. And then they just go in here and be like, today I want to work on this. Like here, Allie in her notes, she wrote Trinity. Three persons equal God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit. I might cry because I never seen that. Okay, and then you know um, that, that that's funny because I've never seen that either. And all the things that I've seen written in her journal were pretty dark, negative, negative and dark. And this is the first positive light that I've ever seen out of her. Yeah. You know, besides in person. Yeah. But I think that's I think that's just awesome. You know. A testimony to how God works. Right. He works when you ask. Yes. And then um, the next tab that we have is prayer. And um, this is when they write their own prayer request. Or, well, yeah, they can write their own prayer request. Or, um, and they also write their own prayer. And then I put an example. So, thank God for another day. Tell God what you're thankful for. Ask God what you need help with. Pray for someone in your life and thank God for listening to you. And then I write it in the format the way I have it. So, 
when they get it, my boys have their own composition book. So they have their composition book and then they read this and then they read the example and then they fill it in with how they want to pray. And we do the prayer because just so that they can get used to praying on their own so that if they're ever put on the spot or in the position where someone needs prayer, they're not going to hesitate or like back down. They're going to know like, well, mom and dad taught us how to do this and we write it every day. So they're going to know how to pray on the spot and help somebody else. Um, so there's the prayer tab. And even Aubrey does it, but y'all can't read her handwriting. I can read it. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's almost like my handwriting. <laughs> yeah, she gets pretty, pretty close. And then the next tab is goals. And this is where they can write their different goals. And each of our kids have a bulletin board in each of their rooms. And on their boards... They have their goals and what they're grateful for so they can see it every morning. And Carlos and I just talked about, like, we have our goals that we did last month, but we've pretty much already reached all of our goals. So now we have to make new goals. Time to make some new ones. Yeah, so we have to make new goals. So we're going to do the same with our kids, too. So, and then the next one, the next tab is the Bible verse. Um, And this is... um, When they're reading their Bible and a Bible verse sticks out to them, they're going to write it down, you know, because the more you write a Bible verse, the more likely you are to remember it when, you know, a situation comes up. Um, So that's what they do. And then the last Bible tab we have, or Bible tab, the last tab we have is, yeah, is Bible notes. And so this is where they just read the Bible and they jot their notes down. So that's what, that's how we do the positive binder in our home and we include all that to help them it makes a difference yeah and they do it every day um every day when they get out school they have to do this before they have any sort of free time it's almost like homework yeah but good homework um and it's you know penmanship for them also you know because adrian needs it his handwriting is not too good but um yeah and then what else was gonna tell y'all about um what's up mama (laughs) <laughs> Do you want to say hi? You want to come say hi? No. Okay. No. Come in. What? So, anyways, yeah, our the positive binder will come in super handy. So, if y'all do it, like, send me a message because I want to see. And I want to see if your kids love it as much as ours do. Um, but, yeah. They're not crazy. Um, but, yeah. So, what questions do y'all have? You can ask us anything anything at all so we're live right now yeah we're talking about god and prayers and everything and um does anybody deal with um their kids um struggling with like anger issues just anger put up goals Hmm? no one put up goals what do you mean no one put up goals oh yeah sometimes people are scared to write their goals ali we're live yeah, do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi to everybody real quick? Hi. Well, don't, don't move the camera. You're going to drop it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, gosh. What's this up, girl? Mom? Yes. She's gigantic. <laughs> she is taller oh, and heavier yes. than me now. Really? I think so. Like, one pound. Where's the controller? <laughs> Ali, we're talking about our goals a minute ago. Yeah, look at my goals right there. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Yeah, crazy, huh? Have you accomplished your goals? Uh, I accomplished. Do, do they help? Yeah, I read the Bible. I read the Bible every day. And had thirteen-year-old reading... girl. Yeah. With goals. That yeah. Has accomplished goals. That's um, amazing. I halfway accomplished a goal by dis- okay. stop disrespecting. Yeah, that's good. And then I start praying every day. Yeah, that's but right. by disrespecting, she means her dad, not us. Yeah, not them. I just show my dad all the time, so y'all <laughs> make good. it clear. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna go with my cousin because. Alright, bye. Peace. Oh, wait, I have a question. What? Did she smell the night? I don't know if you ask that. Is this her dad now? This is real life okay, stuff anyway. right here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right. It's, it's real, real life. life. Real life struggles. Yeah. Why are yes, you touching know. my bald head? <laughs> Cause you, Anyways. You're red right there. <laughs> Sorry. Brittany, are you so excited for new, your newest baby? Did you see my comments? That's fine. Yeah, let me see your comments. No, on, the, on your phone. What comment? On your Bible. Bible app. Bible app. You can do it later. It's fine. I'm just wondering if you saw me. Yes. Because we're live. (laughs) Hi. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> it, oh, what I was saying was anger. Does anybody deal with um, anger with their kids? How do y'all handle it? Honestly. Um, or are y'all kids obsessed with um, Fortnite? Oh, Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. Alex deals with a lot of anger and... Well, okay. Let me go. Rewind. We, what we did start in our home last month is replacing negative with positive. So, wait, did I say that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, negative or positive. Yeah, so. Easier said than done. Yeah, it, it is because Carlos would be like, well, how was your day? I'm like, oh, these kids are psycho. Um, you know, negative, negative, negative Nancy. <laughs> and now I'm like. Well, and I have to think, so I'm like, okay, how can I reward that? Um, I thank Jesus for another day, and thankful that I have healthy kids that can work my nerves. Wait, is that positive? Work my nerves? Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, so, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so, no negative in our home. Everything is positive, positive, positive. And if we hear negative, then we're like, oh, Carlos would be like, negative, negative. It's pretty annoying. It does get but, annoying. But negative to me is annoying too, so it's a... Yeah, it gets annoying. It's a mutual agreement. Yeah, so then if you don't want to get annoyed, then be positive pretty much. So I don't... I think I've done better. I don't think I'm negative that much. So one thing is pretty crazy. I've always told Sarah, you know, anger feeds anger, yeah. you know? So if someone's angry, you're being angry back, it's just going to get worse. But if you fight that with positive, positive always wins. The light will always win in darkness. Mm -hmm. The light will always win. Just keep that in mind. Next yeah. time you argue, argue with somebody, you know, be, be the bigger person and show them what the light is. And yeah. show them that you can be a bigger person and be positive. And you'll laugh because it, like, it will stop it immediately almost. Yeah. So don't argue with your co-worker, your boss, your mama, your daddy, your baby daddy, your baby mama, your anybody. Don't argue. Just If anything, it hurts yourself more yeah. than anybody. It doesn't hurt them because they're already angry, but yeah. you're just going to hurt your own self by getting angry with them. Yeah. And if you're the one that's angry with the other person, well, then you think about it. Yeah. Open your Bible. Open the Bible. Find a scripture that helps you. It was my hardest struggle too, just always being negative. Well, it's because it's because we're programmed. Or, we're programmed that way. Yeah. The things you watch, things you do, the people you hang out with, um, that that plays a major influence uh, with your thoughts and emotions. And you know, if you if you're always in that stage of thinking negative, watching the negative things, you know, listening to negative things, that's the way you're like you're gonna live your life. You know, you, you are what you watch and what you listen to and who you hang around with. That's just plain and simple. Mm -hmm. um, if you fill your life with positive, you're going to get positive back. Just plain and simple. It's, it's really... Um, that's right. Yep. Negative Nancy, positive Pete. <laughs> positive. <laughs> that's funny to me. Positive Pete. Hey, somebody, some people like living negative. I mean, I don't know. Some people like that kind of life. And if you realize the people that are always negative are usually miserable within their life also. And that's not the way to live at all. No way. Um, we've, all, we've all been there. Not putting anyone down. We've all been there. Yeah, no, we're not. Um, Some people just learn how to live without it. Who's texting us? Just kidding. <laughs> I saw that meme where they're like, who's texting us, babe? <laughs> It's so funny. Um, what? Yes, we go to Pathway now. We love it. And Pastor Mike actually just jumped on. Hello, Pastor What's up, Mike. Pastor Mike. I <laughs> um, think we're going to try it out this weekend. Yay! Oh, my gosh. Yes. Come, please. Um, I serve in um, first service um, in preschool. So, um, how old is your son? Will he be in preschool class or maybe toddlers? Um, but anyways, you will love it, Crystal. Um, and we're four minutes from the church also. So I'll be there in second service. So I serve first service and, um, I'll be there second service. And we're, where are we going to start sitting at? 
We've been sitting different areas so far, but we'll probably be oh, in the front Oh, we're going to sit around the whole church, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll be in go the to, front We're going to go to every corner and just fill it out. Yeah. God will put us where we need to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, three and two. Oh, yeah. They'll be downstairs then. Oh, okay. We'll sit with anybody that goes there new, that's new to the place, so you feel comfortable and really, really come and enjoy it. Love you too, Pastor. Good night. <laughs> Um, three and two. Yeah, they'll be downstairs, but <clears throat> yeah, text me, um, or message me and get my number and I'll save you a seat. I know the, oh, I love this song. We got to get on here earlier. Yeah. Your name is Victory. But yeah, uh, first service is at 9 a.m. and second service is at 1040. I don't know, because we go at 1030. 1045 or something Yeah, like 1045. Yeah. And um, they just remodeled downstairs the cafe. It's so beautiful downstairs. Um, um, and they sell fraps downstairs too. It's pretty cool. We love it. <clears throat> and the ministry is awesome. The youth is awesome. It's awesome. You'll love it. But I would love to see you, Crystal. That'd be so awesome. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm starting to meet a lot more people that go there go there <clears throat> hey we love you too I don't think I was able to meet your wife at the meet in Jesus Alan that's Pastor Alan yeah oh. what's up Alan your name your name is victory um yeah uh, what, we, what else we're gonna talk about oh we're talking about anger don't feed off anger and uh what else about this cool book that we're giving away oh yeah we're gonna give away this book once we hit 100 subscribers on our youtube channel and we just posted a new video on there adrian do you want to explain to them the video we just did on youtube what do you want to tell them the story oh the story yeah can you tell them yeah can you tell them do you remember um, Show me cool story. Adrian will tell you a story, and that story is on our YouTube channel. Right, and then once we see hit one hundred subscribers, we're gonna give away that book. Um, but it's in the middle. All right, let's see. If, let's see if you remember if you can tell the story. Open it up, open it up. About the ticket? Oh. Yes, the ticket. Uh, so it was about. So it Close was the door, a, baby. It was about a ticket, and there was one angel, one old man, and two thieves, and. And I guess you needed one pair of scissors and one pair of paper. Yeah. And I don't know you if you guys know already know about this, but you're gonna hear you it. Did, baby. And and so there there was an old man walking on the road, and an angel um, just appeared like right in front of your him and he's and he the angel gave him a ticket and he was excited to go to heaven so he was tired so he went to his um house or something else but he went to sleep and his ticket and there was mm -hmm. two thieves and he, and and the two thieves broke into his house and got the ticket, and and they said, "Woo, we're going to heaven." <laughs> and and the oh, they opened the ticket, and the the old man was waking waking up, and they said, "Ah!" And he was about to wake up, so they. They throw the paper up and it said hell. That's where they going to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they stole. Mm -hmm. And when they got away, he was crying because the old man was crying because um because his ticket got ruined. So he was crying, and an angel just appeared again in front of him and said, why are you crying, mister? <laughs> and and he said, my, my ticket's ruined. 
<laughs> and the angel said, what God gives you, I think when God gives you, gives you something, no one will never steal it. That's right. Uh -huh. Yeah, so once God gives you that ticket to heaven, no one can ever steal that ticket, right? Because God, that's the only way home, right? God will ah. never take away anything from you that he gives you, neck. right? Yeah. You did good. Good job. <laughs> what is yeah. that? What sword is that? The Bible man sword. Bible man sword. <laughs> the sword is what? The word of God? The word of God. Yep, that is. <sighs> good okay. job, baby. They love your story. Good job. So that story is on our YouTube channel. So again, once we get 100 subscribers on our YouTube channel, we'll give away that free book. The Five Love Languages of Children. Yeah. Whew, that uh -huh. was a long story, baby. Good oh, job. No. So how do y'all pray as a family? How do you pray, Adrian? Um, I pray... How do you, do you, How do you pray? pray? I don't know what you mean. Do you go in your binder? Yeah. Yeah. Only at school. Only at school? Yeah. Do you pray for the food? Do you bless the food too? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody have any prayer request? I think we're about to end the movie because our kids are about to go crazy. We only get like 10 minutes to actually do something by ourselves. Yeah. And uh, after 10 minutes is up, it's like a timer. They set their own timers, mental timers, and they come in here and come to bother us. Yep. Trying to do a, a video. Yep. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And go to our YouTube, our YouTube channel and subscribe. Um, and, um, yeah, and... Share this video Share the or video. our YouTube channel. Whatever. Cool, 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 cool. Help us get our Bye. word out. Uh, Bye. Help us get God's word out. Yes. All right. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.